Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue that says your printer cannot be contacted over the network on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. So just go left click on the start button one time. Type in services. Best match to come back with services right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to scroll down to remote access auto connection manager. So scroll down to that. Shouldn't be too far down the list here. And double click on that. Startup type should be set to automatic, so click inside the drop down, select automatic. Service status, you want to click the start button, and then select apply and OK. Now that that's done, you want to go ahead and double click on it. Select the log on tab, and then you want to select this account, and it should automatically be a password that fills in here. Let's go ahead and select OK. Once that's done, close out of here, try and connect to the printer over the network again, and hopefully that's resolved the problem. Another thing you try to be to uninstall the printer, so going through control panel and then devices and printers, you're welcome to do that. So hopefully that would maybe also serve as an alternative as well. Another thing you could try would be if we were to go into devices and printers, so I have already mentioned it, so we might as well open it up here. So again, devices and printers. I'm actually going to go through the control panel for this one. You can go through the modern UI settings as well on Windows 10, but I want to make this tutorial applicable for Windows 7 and Windows 8 users as well. So we're going to go through the control panel, so no big deal. We're going to sort by view by large icons here, and you want to select devices and printers. So like what I was saying before, if you want to delete a printer and reinstall, you just would left click on the printer and then select remove device and then you just would reinstall it. And otherwise we want to go make sure our IP address looks correct for our printer. So you want to go right click on the printer, select printer properties, whatever printer you're having the problem with. Select ports and there should be an IP address on the left side. You want to go ahead and make sure that one's selected so it should be like 192 dot and then just follow up a bunch of numbers. If anything else is currently selected, it's probably not obviously going to be connected to the network because you want to have something that looks like an IP address in there. So just keep that in mind. Might also point you in the right direction here. So close out of here. And like I said, I do hope that one of the methods I went over in this video helps resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.